Yuki reached the Q3 for the first time in his Formula 1 career at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, but crashed in the session, causing a red flag. He finished the race 7th, his best result so far, despite being mad after the race due to losing two positions at the red flag restart. Tsunoda crashed again in qualifying at the French Grand Prix, was forced to start from the pit lane and finished 13th. He reached Q3 again at the Styrian Grand Prix, qualifying 8th, but received a 3-place grid penalty for impeding Volteri Bottas. He finished in 10th place despite radio miscommunications. He again reached Q3 at the Austrian Grand Prix and achieved his best qualifying result thus far with 7th. He opted for a two-stop strategy and received penalties for crossing the pit entry line, failing to score points with a 12th place finish. He secured a point with 10th place at the British Grand Prix, having started 16th and benefited from a late pit stop from Sergio Perez. He again qualified 16th at the Hungarian Grand Prix, but avoided the lap 1 collisions and gained from Sebastian Vettel's disqualification to be classified 6th in the race, improving his highest F1 result.